And welcome to the chat on Newsday Amarillo and News Channel 10-2. I'm David Lovejoy. Good morning, everybody. I'm Rhonda Lonert. And I'm Chuckalicious Chuck Williams. Our good friend Larry drops by. We, we used to usually seeing him for the Polk Street Cruise, and then they have that other car show just like a couple of weeks afterwards out at uh, uh, the vineyards. Uh, but now they're back, and they're uh, b- partnering up uh, with Omega House to uh, put on a car show, a classic car exhibition. Larry, how you doing, man? I couldn't possibly be better, David. Thank you for having me this morning. Good to see you all. Well, I tell you what, it's it just uh, uh, what people take their passion, of love of cars, different type of cars, and it seems like the first thing they do is try to help out, reach out, and be a part of uh, other groups. It's, it's about the cars. They love their vehicles, but they don't mind using them uh, for great causes. And that's what you guys do. Tell us a little bit about uh, the Omega Car Show and what it entails. Well, the fraternity down at uh, West Texas A&M University, Omega Delta Phi, called us last year and they said, we want to get involved with our community and do something for charity. And they like the, the charities that the Amarillo Area Corvette Club supports. And so they said, we're going to do this car show and we want all the proceeds of that to go to your club, to go to your charities. So it takes a long time to establish a tradition, but this is the second year of this car show and we hope it becomes just a, a great tradition right on down the road. This is gonna be an amazing day. Think about it, we're gonna have food, family, friends, fun, fine cars, and football all in one day. The gates are gonna open at 11 11 o'clock for uh, bringing the cars in and registering. At 12.30, the gates will close and the show will begin and last all the way up until five. The uh, tailgate alley is there on 26th Street going south from uh, Russell Long Boulevard. And it's just slightly to the west side of the Bain Schaefer Buffalo Stadium. It's going to be an amazing thing. The spectators can come for absolutely free. Entering your car will cost you $30, but that $30 is going to go to our charities. And so we're hoping to have a great, great turnout. A lot of folks, last year we did have had a blast with it and a big football game right afterwards. So we're asking everybody to come on out. If you want to be a spectator, it's absolutely free, but we'll take donations at any time because we support three great charities. We have the Bates Mission, which supports kids who have aged out of the foster program. Right. We have our, children, our Children's Blessing, and they support people financially and emotionally who have lost an infant. And then our third one then is the 100 Club of the Texas Panhandle, and they financially and emotionally support fallen officers and first responders and their families. So gr- three great, great charities that we support. And the folks down there at Texas a- at West Texas A&M University have uh, partnered with us to make this a- an even better th- year for us. So wonderful charities. I, I really appreciate all of that work that you guys do. Uh, when you say Amarillo area, how far reaching is this? Where all do people come from to be a part of things like this? Well, our Corvette Club is the Amarillo Canyon area, but we stretch further out than that. We have some members who are as far away as Oklahoma City. Whoa. But we have right now 140 members in our club, and not everyone owns a Corvette. You don't have to own a Corvette to be a member of the Corvette Club. I'm the president for at least another couple of months. On January 1st, we'll have a new board come in. But I've uh, I've been doing this for two years as the president and uh, looking forward to helping the new new board uh, starting next year. But for the community the size of Amarillo Canyon area, for us to have 140 members and about 50 or 60 Corvettes, I think is quite amazing. And we love to get involved in these things. We do parades with the high schools for their homecoming and all sorts of things like that. So it's a, it's a great opportunity to come out and see some fine cars, meet some great people, uh, deal with this fraternity, have a A great tailgating experience right there on Tailgate Alley. We're looking forward to a great crowd. You know, when you start talking about this, this is definitely a community involvement thing. And as Rhonda said, picked out, you you got some great charities behind you. Uh, It's the community support that really makes this go, correct? Oh, absolutely. Without the community, we would have no funds to hand out to our charities at the end of the year. And that's coming up pretty quick. We, ha- we disperse our financial gains for the year at our uh, Thanksgiving party in, in November. So those charities that we support will pick up a check in, in November, and we want to make sure that it is 
a good amount that's really going to help them right. further their programs. It's so. going to be a big show. It kicks off uh, uh, bright and early on uh, this Saturday morning. Uh, the Omega okay. Delta Phi second annual car show. Uh, some charities that they have spotlighted this year. The 100 Club of the Texas Panhandle, uh, Our Children's Blessing, and the Bates Mission. Uh, you can go to their website. There's a link there. Omega Delta Phi Theta Chapter presents the second annual car show. Scan that link, that QR code. You can sign up there. Uh, $30 uh, to enter your car in there. Come on out and have a great time. Uh, what time are gates opening, Larry, for this video? They event? open at 1130. Oh, excuse me. They open at 11 o'clock and they close at 1230. And that's when the show will actually start. Yeah. And then uh, we, you can, after that, you can go see the Buffs take on, I believe they're taking on Western Oregon for the game this weekend. Uh, the, the Buffs and the Wolves. It should be uh, a great game. It's going to be a guy. <laughs> and the Buffs are playing good football. And, and the thing is, you're, you're really benefiting some great organizations. You know what the 100 Club does and the Bates Mission and our children's blessing. Right. And, and these folks that have a passion and a love for their automobiles, uh, one to spill that over, one to help out. And the young folks down in Canyon, the Omega, you got to give them credit. It's great when kids think about other people, when they, they have that in their heart, that they want to help out, they want to be a part of the community. And you can be a part of it. Uh, like I said, the proceeds go to three great organizations, uh, the Amarillo Corvette Club, uh, their sponsored charities for the year. And Larry, you guys do such great work. We appreciate everything. And uh, it's just neat what you guys do. And it's great to see the Corvettes, too. I love the Polk Street crew. Yeah. See the vets, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Yeah. Well, thanks for having us on. We really appreciate you guys. You support us every year and all of our events that just outstanding. So thank you so much. It's going to become a tradition. It's the second annual uh, Omega Car Show, September 30th at West Texas A&M University in the tailgate area. They'll be taking on the Western Oregon Wolves. You can sign up your car today. Spots are limited, so you better get in there. Uh, scan that QR code or registration link. It'll benefit the 100 Club of the Texas Panhandle our children's blessing, and the Bates mission. Larry, take care. Be careful out there, brother. I promise. You too. Uh, all right. We'll take a break. Back with more chat right after this.